What is up, beautiful people, and happy Halloween. This is a special episode of Cinematic Black Facts with your girl, Lisa G. This is a quick look into black people and other people of color in the cinematic history you never learn. Today is All Hallows Eve, and you already know your girl had to do the most. <laughs> yes, I hope you like my costume. It's either Moira Rose or I'm manifesting me being an old rich woman that can dress like this on a daily basis. So you can choose which one that works for you, either or. And before the festivities officially start for tonight, I thought let's do a quickie little story about someone who might not be super well known, but still held an important part in cinematic history. Yes, there's always one. And of course, this is Halloween theme. And baby, what is something that most black people usually do not do? That is Halloween horror. But with that being said, let's speak about someone who was best known for his role in a specific horror movie that had to do with some zombies and being the first black hero lead in a horror film. Hmm. He didn't die, y'all. He didn't die. He was also someone who studied literature, who taught acting, as well as a whole bunch of other degrees and traveled the world and did many amazing things in academia. Now, of course, you might not know this person's name, but that's all right. That is why I'm here. This week, we're going to talk about the one and only Dwayne Jones or as you might hear me say, Dewan Jones. It's spelled differently, so it threw me off a little bit. But you still get the gist. So let's learn a little bit more about Mr. Jones, shall we? Jones was born in New York City, April 11th, 1937. He graduated from the University of Pittsburgh with a BA and studied at the saint Bruno in Paris before training as an actor in New York City. He later completed an MA in communications at the New York University in between shooting Night of the Living Dead. Prior to becoming an actor, Jones was a Phelps Stokes Exchange Scholar in Nigeria and taught literature at Long Island University. He created English language training programs for the Peace Corps and helped design Harlem Preparatory School, where he headed the English department. His role in the 1968 film Night of the Living Dead marked the first time an African-American actor was cast as a star and hero of a horror film, one of the first influential times in American cinema where an important role was given to a black actor when the script did not explicitly call for one. While some saw the casting as significant, director George A. Romero stated that Duan simply gave the best audition. He continued working in film after Night of the Living Dead in Ganja and Hess in 1973, Losing Ground in 1982, and Beach Street in 1984 among others. Despite his other films, Jones worried that people would only recognize him as Ben. He was subsequently executive director of the Black Theater Alliance, a federation of theater companies from 1976 through 1981, and continued working as a theater actor and director until his death in 1988. As an executive director of the Richard Allen Center for Culture and Art, he promoted African American theater. He also taught acting styles at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. After leaving the American Academy, he taught a select group of students privately in Manhattan by invitation only. He hand-selected students were of diverse ethnic backgrounds. Jones died of a heart attack, sadly, at Winthrop Hospital in Long Island, New York on July 22, 1988, at age 51. He was cremated and his ashes were given to his family. His legacy lives on with the Dewan L. Jones Recital Hall at the State University of New York at Old Westboro, named after him, and in the zombie comic book series The Walking Dead. The African-American character Dewan Jones is named in his honor. Well, Mr. Jones, if I do say so myself, you held quite an impressive life. Now, I might not have been in front of the public eye, but I'm still glad that we know who you are because you did hold some form of importance in the cinematic history that we, once again, never learned. So as always here on Cinematic Black Facts, we honor you, we salute you, we respect you, but most importantly, Mr. Jones, if you're listening up there, we thank you for everything that you did for your community, as well as for the actors in your life. As always here on Cinematic Black Facts, that is a cut, a print, a slate, and a wrap on this week's episode. Have a good night, y'all. <laughs>